<sighs> there we go. And, uh, hello Instagram, my name is Sam the Mini Yeti, and welcome to another episode of Sam the Mini Yeti Live. And, uh, happy Friday, everybody! And, uh, also, also, uh, this year happens to mark the 45th anniversary of Garfield, believe it or not. And, what a surprise, surprise! Uh, today happens to be the 20, sorry, the, uh, the 23rd anniversary of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. So, yeah, it has now been 32 years now since uh, the first Sonic the Hedgehog game was released on the Sega Genesis, June 23rd in 1991. And boy, did it, well, did it feel a long time since. Woo! Uh, looks like we're already getting some people to come on live already. Uh, Timothy Spatz, uh, Davin Bingle, Jesse. Hello, everybody! Woo! But yeah, um, but yeah, I, let me tell you, um, I actually, uh, Gavin Mingle says, hey, Sam, hey, and, um, but yeah, also, keep in mind, we, um, but also, what was it, what, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, uh, when, when, um, I was actually, I've been a pretty big fan of the Sonic franchise ever since, uh, I actually got into it back into... I think it was like in the early 2000s. I actually had a collection of the Son of the classic Sonic games on a Sega Me Sonic Mega Collection Plus. And eventually, I did end up getting a um I I actually ended up I actually ended up getting what was it? I ended up getting uh, my own Sega Genesis with a copy of uh, a uh, the Sega Genesis 6 pack, although I think I should have gotten a uh, a copy of the actual Sonic game itself. Just by itself, not the six pack, and I even got a copy of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog two, like the one of the best Sonic games ever. Now I gotta get Sonic three and Sonic and Knuckles, so I can have Sonic three and Knuckles. Uh, Gavin Binkle says, "I had a Sonic collection game for the PS two. Can't remember the exact title though. I'm pretty sure it's Sonic Mega Collection Plus. That's what I think. But um." But yeah, uh, we got a comment from Barney is Fridays. He says, "Hey Sam, hey." I'll tell you what. One of my earliest Sonic the Hedgehog memories actually came from uh, when uh, I think it was when I actually saw a, a copy of Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis for the Game Boy Advance, which is like one of the worst excuses for a port that has ever come to existence. Like you know, it's all. It's okay to probably play like an emulated version for like the 3DS or the PSP, but the uh, the the Game Boy Advance port of the original game was just terrible. It, the camera was zoomed in on Sonic, and uh, the um and there was a bunch of slowdown. It was just a terrible, terrible experience. But anyway, uh, you know what? I have I've talked about Sonic long enough. Let's get to some uh, live requests already, so here we go. And uh, you know what? I think for the heck of it, I think I'll have uh, I think I'll have a uh, Kinu sh uh, show up as well. So just give me a moment here. And keep in mind, we're doing two guests at a time, so here we go, y'all. All right, and you're on the air. Hello. Hey there, Money Monster. Hey, 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 how you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks. I, I, I actually uh, have someone up. I actually have someone coming on pretty soon as well, but I think she, I think uh, she's taking a bit. But I don't. I'm not getting a moment here. I think I might need to try again. Hello, everybody. Uh, how you doing? Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Oh, hopefully she's able to come on. And come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And ah, fudge. I. Yep. Says here. Uh, she's unable to join, so fudge. So, yeah, I'm 
Sorry. It looks like we are not able to do it. And uh, Alex is checking out the show now. Hi. Hey there, Alex, and hey there, uh, hey there, hey there, uh, Terrence. Happy Woo. birthday, Terrence. My bestie. Wait, it's Terrence's birthday? Yes, today is Terrence's birthday. Oh wow! So that was a that was a coincidence, honestly. Yeah, so, today is Terrence's birthday. Yep. Okay, you know what? Um, you know. Space to uh, Alex and her friend Terrence. So happy birthday, Terrence! It's good. To, uh, I'm actually, it's a, it's kind of an interesting coincidence. Terrence happens to share the same birthday as Sonic the Hedgehog of all people. So wow. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. Man, that's that's cool. Speaking of birthdays, uh, Monday Monday's our buddy Jakey's birthday, and he's doing a birthday party Tuesday night. <gasps> oh, sweet. Yeah, I have no idea who's showing up though. But knowing Jakey, it's gonna be huge. Awesome. We'll we'll be there. We'll be there though. Tues this Tuesday night. Uh what's Jakey's Instagram there, Julius? Jake the BWBC fan five. Thank you, Julius. Wow. Uh, Tuesday night Tuesday night, eight o'clock Eastern. It's gonna be lots of fun. His his actual birthday's on Monday, but uh we're out we're throwing a big well, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing Monday night. Just, uh, he's on vacation at the moment, but we'll see. But yeah, that's uh, the birthday party's Tuesday night. And um, was it somebody else's birthday yesterday? Yes, Bradley Freeman Jr.'s birthday. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was. I wanted to try one more time, see if we could get this other person to come on live, but just ha just want to see. Hi, Tori. Tori Jane Vincent says, Happy birthday, Terrence. Wait, Terrence has the same birthday as Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. Look, cool. Look, 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 yeah. look, 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 our buddy Jakey's got the same birthday as Ariana Grande, so we now call him Jakey Grande. <laughs> Jakey, Jakey Grande. That Jakey sounds like a Grande, yes. Oh, hey, I can yeah. actually start to roll my arms about time. That does yeah. sound kind of a cool name, honestly. Jakey Grande. That's a, that's a they, cool they, name. They share the same birthday, so I mean... Uh, you were mentioning Sonic earlier. Somewhere around here, or somewhere in this house, we don't have an original Sega Genesis, but we do have a copy of the original Sonic the Hedgehog somewhere. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah, we've been there for a while. Unfortunately, we don't we don't have a Sega Genesis though. Unfortunately, Jeff, I actually recommend if you get the chance, try and get the uh, the uh, Super Retro Trio. Basically, Super Retro Trio. Yeah, that's. The Hey, I know you. Hi. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. That's the, uh, Ronnie LeDrew, uh, yeah. and you're checking out the show. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing, my friend? Good to see oh, you. Yeah, yeah. so uh, if you need to know, the Super Retro Trio is actually the game console we have uh, right over there. See that? I think so. Yeah, there, and, and uh, that actually has three cartridge slots. It's actually able to play... Uh, Sega Genesis, as well as Super Nintendo mm. and the NES. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's very ironic, too. <laughs> I knew that this was something I needed to get, but, um, and I've actually grown quite an NES library as well as Sega Genesis library. Right. And, and believe it or not, uh, two, of the, uh, two of the first Super Nintendo games we actually ended up getting were a, uh, Madden 96 and uh, some baseball game. I can't remember the name. Madden 96. Wow, that's a throwback. Yeah, but I did end up, I, I did actually find a copy of one of the Super Nintendo Essentials, which is Super Mario World. Good on you. Good on you. That is a must have for any Super Nintendo player. Yeah. Good gotta, place. Yeah, that's a game we got to have. Oh, oh, okay. Sure. Okay, speaking of Mario. There was quite a lot of reveals that happened with the uh, Nintendo Direct. I, I heard about, about some of them, yes. I'm not really too big of a Nintendo Direct person, but I did hear a little bit about what happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, great say. So Some of the things that they revealed for from the Nintendo Direct, uh, one of them is the next mainline Super Mario game, which is a Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Wonder, yep. And, um... It's definitely got an interesting uh, art design. It's very dreamlike. Oh, it almost looks like an animated film. And um, and also, we are also getting Princess Daisy 
playable for the first time in a mainline Mario game. Wow, that's uh, interesting. And we also, and also, surprisingly, there is a new power up that turns Mario into an elephant. And honestly, I'm just like, okay. The <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? Died, it makes me wonder what is that gonna? What is the? What is this power up gonna make Mario do? Like, what's the added power? He's probably he's probably gonna you know, whack his enemies with this trunk. That's uh, that's probably what I would think. Or maybe, <laughs> or maybe that can make him stronger. I, that's what I think. You're looking at me, interesting, Julius. Oh. Can I can I demonstrate? Sure, you can. Okay, what? Hold on. That's that's really weird, though. You know, Mario yeah. like an elephant. That's that's I. But okay. <laughs> it's kind of fun, though. It looks. Um. Also, a uh, Princess Peach herself is going to be getting her own game. I was like, oh. Hi. Oh, hey, Julian. What did, hi. What did you want me to demonstrate? I want you to demonstrate whacking enemies with your trunk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, not oh, me, oh, not oh, me. Oh, you're the, oh, wait, you're, you're the only one around. How about some more? No? Okay. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, ow, oh, ow. Oh, ow. <laughs> And that, my friends, is a demonstration of Mario as an elephant. Uh, <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, okay. I was just about to say. Uh, are you? Are you? Are you okay? Yeah. I was about to say, a uh, Princess Peach is going to be getting her own game on the Switch as well, and I think it's been a while since Princess Peach had her own game. There, we already had Super Princess Peach on the DS, but uh -huh. this is something entirely new. Also, um, Pigment also, I, I, no, not Pigment, I was about to say. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is going to be getting a remake on the Nintendo Switch. Nice. Okay, I have to be honest here. I I do like the other Luigi's Mansion games. I have Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch. But uh, the only thing that's missing was the atmosphere that the first game actually had. Like, it's not creepy enough. Trunk attacking enemies? That was more like a nuzzle attack, Julius. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 a nuzzle, uh, no, a nuzzle attack is this. Hey. <laughs> yeah, there's the nuzzle attack. That's a, uh, that's a nuzzle attack. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Pikmin 4 is also announced, as well as some digital versions of Pikmin 1 and 2. Uh -huh. and I, honestly, I have, I have not played a Pikmin game, but I'm curious, though, Especially for the fact that uh, Pigman is a creation by Shigeru Miyamoto, and you know he's done some really, really good stuff in the past. And um, and also we actually and also uh, this was kind of a surprise, but it was announced that uh, the Batman Arkham trilogy is going to get a port on the Nintendo Switch. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I am a. Yeah, full disclosure, I love the Batman Arkham games. They they truly make you feel like you are the Batman, and it's got some really good combat, and the stories are phenomenal. I love those. Nice. Platinum Saki says, I know. Oh, so he knows about the Batman Arkham trilogy showing up on the Switch as well. Woo! And, okay, and here's, a, here's kind of a I think the one game that, I, that got me excited from the Nintendo Direct was that uh, the Switch is going to get a remake of Super Mario RPG. Yes. 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 That's cool. And, yeah. But, yeah. So if you guys don't know already, uh, Super Mario RPG was the first ever uh, Mario, was the first ever RPG that starred Mario. Yeah. And, um, and believe it or not, that actually did set the groundwork for quite a few other role-playing games yeah. in Mario's career. Yeah. And this includes Paper Mario yeah. and the Luigi series. Yeah. And I especially love the Mario and Luigi series, uh, particularly Bowser's Inside Story. That's right. like that's like one of the best Mario games ever. And it's a solid role-playing game as well. Mm -hmm. Super Mario RPG 
RPG in particular was actually an interesting case because it was developed by Square Enix, the same company who also did Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, a lot of the great ones. And Kingdom Hearts. Yes, yes, that one. And, yes. And I think, I, have, I do have a feeling that Super Mario RPG is going to be a great uh, remake for the Switch. I think it's going to be, it literally looks interesting and I hope that with the battle mechanics, it looks just as great on the Switch. That's what I think. Nice. Very nice. Platinum Saki says Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, yeah, Marty just said that. Yes, he did. Yeah. And, um, and, um, but yeah, we, I'm actually really excited for what we have in store for the Switch this year. Super yeah. Mario RPG got me hyped. You know I'm going to be into the new Super Mario Brothers game. Yeah. Batman- a lot of people are. The Super, uh, the Batman Arkham trilogy, I think, is going to be great, especially on the go. And um, I think it'll be great to play a, a Pigman game uh, for the first time. Woo! Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess. So I gotta say, Marty. Um, huh? I gotta say, Marty. What, what or what game got you excited the most from the Nintendo Direct? Honestly. Uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. You know, it's it, it's it's been a bit since we've seen a new Mario game like this, and I'm I'm really excited about it. Actually, I was about to say, Super Mario Brothers Wonder is the first mainline Mario game to not have the new Super Mario Brothers label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a yeah, while. Yeah, and um, also, like- and also, but also if you think about it, I think it's the first. A uh, mainline Mario game to actually just have simply have Super the Super Mario label after uh, Super Mario Land Two Six Golden Coins. Yeah, yeah, it it's been quite a while. Yeah, it has been. I actually think my uh, I think I think easily when I got when I um when they revealed that Super Mario RPG was getting a remake, I was like, yes, that deserves a remake. Woo! My um. And I think it was, and since this is a remake, we're technically going to see the return of characters like Malo and uh, and especially Gino. Woo! It's been, it's actually been a while since we've seen Gino as well. And uh, technically, he definitely looks like, well, a puppet. So what else? Yay, one of us. <laughs> I, I definitely think... Um, I've actually seen a review of Super Mario RPG by Some Call Me Johnny, and um, he did actually show that uh, is how some of the other characters actually played. And one of my favorites is that he actually said that that uh, Toadstool, now we just call her Peach, is simply more like the mage for the, for the game. He's she's she can be just there to, to actually heal characters, but mm. and. I think definitely one of the characters I'm going to need for my party, Bowser. He's like, I, we definitely need the powerhouse. That's what I think. Yeah, I'd say so. And look, I also like that the Mario RPGs actually give characters we know and love, like Mario, Peach, and Bowser, some actual character. Yeah. Bowser, Bowser especially, he is like, he, he actually has a little bit of an ego, and he's also like really funny. Yeah. And Mario himself is actually kind of a cool character too. Whenever he needs, we never get any dialogue from him, but but Mario RPG, whenever he needs to explain something for the sake of context, he'll actually use like miming abilities and transform into other characters. It's kind of like a faster version of a Courage the Cowardly Dog, if you think about that. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> my um, my I think my favorite of. Uh, I think that, I said my favorite Mario RPG Bowser's Inside Story, but I think at some point I definitely need to check the remake of that one for the 3DS. I've actually seen footage of the remake, and whatever gameplay they actually needed to improve on, they, they did. And um, my favorite that they did, I thought it was a small difference, but it definitely it did, actually I think it was a big difference, but it definitely worked. But um, but whenever you play as Bowser, um, they actually added a um, a, a map on the bottom screen. 
I mean, Mario and Luigi were able to have a map when you actually are when they're actually outside of of Bowser's body. Uh -huh. But for some reason, Bowser never had a map when you play as him. I'm just like, the heck! Wow, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, and um, and also I actually I gotta mention here, but whenever I play uh, the Mario and Luigi series, I actually don't use the uh. I actually don't use the special abilities until I actually reach a boss. Right, right, right. Understandable. I just I actually just beat a regular enemy like normal. I just use like a hammer or 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 jump. But the moment I get to a boss, I'm just like, okay, I gotta use a power. I gotta use a special ability for this one. Yep. Smart move. And I gotta mention also. Should I mention that? Um, the Mario and Luigi, the first three games, honestly, actually had a pretty uh, planned out uh, villain arc for the character Boffle. Interesting. Yeah. So if you don't know, if you guys don't know who Boffle is, he is a he is a beanish from the Bean Bean Kingdom, and uh, actually, and in the first game, he was just made as the as the henchman to the main villain Cacletta. But Boffle is just basically doing the. Uh, doing most of the work and it includes stealing princess peach's voices a voice and actually replacing it with literal explosive vocabulary wow ultimately it was him who actually took the fall and he actually spent most of his time during the second game partners in time actually building up his resources like it's just a simple cameo but we know he's up to something yeah and then finally, in Bowser's Inside Story, he emerged as the main villain. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. And what made Fawful such an interesting character, at least, is the way he talks. His English is broken to the point where he actually uses a bunch of food-themed metaphors. And one of my favorite, and uh, I think easily one of my favorites is actually when Bowser asks, what is your beef? And... <laughs> He actually is saying that figuratively, but Buffle says, I have no beef. Buffle is beefless. Oh my. I, I just find that funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, Buffle is some sort of lunatic, but he's honestly really enjoyable every time he shows up. Yeah. But, but, but yeah, and uh, looks like we have, a con we have a question in the question box, so yeah, let me get... Can I, can I also say briefly, uh, we're about to celebrate the second anniversary of Jake's Happy Status Show. We're doing a whole month of special episodes. Oh, cool. Uh, yep, throughout the month of July, our official anniversary is July the 9th. So, yeah, two years. Wow. Have you seen any of our recent episodes, by the way? Uh, uh, I actually have. I've, I've definitely seen a good chunk of them, yeah. And uh, easily, I think my favorite that you did was... Uh, my my favorite that you did recently is when you talked to Leslie Korea Rudolph. Oh my God! Oh yeah. Leslie, what? A, oh my God! Yes, Leslie. Let me tell you, Leslie was a sweetheart. She was amazing. One of one of my favorite guests we've ever had on in the history of the show ever. Oh, and that okay. was, and that was Matt's hundredth episode. Yes, it was. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that was big actually. Okay, I actually probably should mention, but at su but uh, but on Facebook, uh, believe it or not, <laughs> they ended up getting tagged, and um, yeah, uh, and believe it or not, on the lizard himself actually suggested that um that uh my handler Jacob get to be on Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, and I was like, wait, what? They they did, he wants me? He did, wants did, us? Did did you say did 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 you see Matt's dad com Matt's dad's comment on that by the way? Oh really? What he said, Billy, Billy Ray, Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh wow, dude. Oh, okay, I think I saw that, and he, I was like, let me tell let me tell you, any chance he gets, he'll mention Billy Ray Cyrus. Okay, looks like we do have another request to come on live, and um, I'll oh, tell you what. Wait, before we wait, what's what's what's, what's the question? What's the question first? Yeah, let's get. Yeah, I was about to say before we get to that, let's get to those questions. Yeah. We got, we got 
Yeah. Got a question backed up. Great. Hang on. Great. Great. Well, I, love, so, I love questions. Okay. Um, so, Rami asks, what is your favorite game? Oh. Oh. But, okay. Wow. Easily. I definitely want, I think one of my, I think one of my favorite uh, games is uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, like the original, like the classic tr that's, trilogy. That's a, that's a but, but I think easily my favorite childhood game, like when I was growing up, is the Sly Cooper franchise. Love those games. I and um, I only I only had one of the Sly Cooper games. I think it's Sly Cooper Three. I think Sly Three: Honor Among Thieves. Yep, that's the one. That, you got that's the one. You got one of the great ones, actually. Yeah, yeah. I um, I haven't played that in years because I don't think our PS3 works anymore. I don't think we'll have to hook it up again see if it does, but I don't think it works anymore. But we actually anyway, uh, childhood childhood games. Um, oh, I I I can I can attest for Matt. He played a lot of the old uh, point and click PC games. Oh, nice. Uh, from like the early 2000s, one of which was, um, you used to play Mickey Mouse Toddler a lot. Yes, I did. That's, 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 a, that's a old, oh. that, that came out the year you were born, right? Yep, 2000. Yeah, if you remember the old point and click PC games from like Disney and all that. A lot of throwbacks. Oh yeah, I okay. I got to mention. Um, but Rami said his favorite child, his favorite game was SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh yeah, I was like, but which one? SpongeBob's got which quite a SpongeBob few games SquarePants game specifically? Here, Battle for Bikini Bottom's really good. But yeah, okay. Let's, that one um, I have not played, but I'd like to. Oh. Play, play it on the GameCube if you get the chance. It's a, it's it's a really fun game. Totally noted. Muppet Party Cruise. I forgot about that. That game is fun. It's been a while since I played that. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do. We we do have Muppet Race Mania as well. We have that, but I like Muppets Party Cruise better. Okay. Now we actually have um. Okay, this is okay. This is a really image. Uh, Jacob's brother. Put a funny comment in the question box, please. But, but it's just a funny one. I'll have um uh, uh what? <laughs> oh wait, that's a that's a different that's a different line. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. That's a different line, but it still works. It's that, now that's funny. Okay. Oh, oh, MP Entertainment said. Okay, okay. Yeah, MP Entertainment says, Creature from the Krusty Krab. Oh, oh, that is a good. Never, never played, played that one. I thought never, that was great. Never played that one. Let's see, you used to play Doors Back. I think, I think we have that one. Bears. Search Sesame Street search and learn that game all the time. More and now Uh, Tor Jane Benson says, I okay, okay, uh, quite a lot, honestly. But let's, you know hi, Marty. Here we go. Let's there. get to the, let's get to, uh, let's get to what's going on here. Live. It's uh, uh, not too much questions out of the way. Let's get, let's I'm get just, to that. Let's get to that other person. I heard. 
heard you guys were answering the question of what so one of my favorite games is currently destiny one of the games i'm playing right now is currently destiny 2 and i'm on the last part of my iron banner weekly challenges you know you know, you know a friend a friend of matt's used to play destiny a lot hey Kino. hey there Marty. Hey, Monster! Hey, my buddy, Kino. How are you? Uh, doing great, actually. Great. You know, it's good to see my uh, big, biggest fans. Oh, uh, uh, shucks. Thank you. Oh yeah. And um, Danger from me. I don't know. Uh, what do you do? Or says you said. You said. My friend, stop freezing. You son of a glitch. Also, I don't hear anyone. Really? Uh, like, you don't? How about uh, now, huh? You, you, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'll be right back. I'm about to say, I, I, I hear you just fine. Huh. You, you think but yeah, I, the audio cut off? Oh, jeez. All right. And Tori says, I think the audio cut off. I don't hear any of you. Huh. And then MP says, God. It's the Phantom of the Opera. He's. Oh, 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 Doing the connection. I'm trying to help out oh, my team. Like, showing up the story is. I want to start first. <laughs> yeah, you see how I actually got the first kill on this Iron Banner yes. match on Titan? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying okay. to complete Iron Banner matches as either Void, Arc, or Strand subclasses. Uh -oh. oh. Yeah, because I'm on the last part in which I have to complete. 18 iron banner matches and i'm on i'm on to the and i only so far i got 12 and i only have six left ah. i'm just trying to help out my, my team by killing the enemies and getting along the streak of five to, to stand with the iron wolves yeah yeah i hear that oh god got him oh yeah, yeah. but yeah oh. Can't, every team usually gets a longer streak of five and stands with the Iron Wolves. And you see how the enemy got the um, longest streak of five? I gotta shut him down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 And there's heavy ammo available, so I better go get that. All right. Now I um, gotta make sure I um get those enemies before they get me. Got him. But yeah, Iron Banner is one of my favorite PvP games of all time. Season. Speaking of seasons, I'm on the current season right oh, now, yeah. season 21, like called Season of the Deep. I heard you were going to say something. What were you saying? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Nice. I did. I know that. Yeah, we ended up beating the game 100%, and uh, it was when we did that. It was it was actually um, we had to, finish, we had to not like we actually had to finish the uh, Master Thief sprints. Basically, you had to finish the levels in a in a uh, in a, on on a time limit. And doing, but we did it. We actually did it. 
and we unlocked a, a behind the scenes video on how the game was made. Very nice. And the entertainment says. Um, and um and says MP Entertainment says they brought PVE back after outrage from fans. Oh yeah. And um Tori Jane Benson says, Okay, I'm back. I don't know what is wrong with this app. It's acting weird again. Yeah, I don't know. This one is acting weird again. Untamer says, Phantom, quit it. Oh my god. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Uh, okay, but um, we do have a comment on in the we have a question in the question box, so let me get to that real quick. Ah. Okay. Mm. Oh. Yes. We got uh, we got a. Comment. Favorite oh. color? I am an orange kind of guy. Yeah. yeah, one of my favorite colors. Is, yeah, one of my favorite colors is blue. I actually got to say, my my favorite. I, I think I'm not right with you, uh, Marty, because um, orange is the color of my eyes. I see that. Very nice. Yeah. So my my favorite color is orange. So and, let me just hey, get this. Just like me. Very nice. And Rom Rami says on the chat wall. What? Like, what's he talking about, man? What you talking about, Kenny? Um. Oh. And uh, but yeah, uh, we got another comment saying, "Looking good, Kenu. I like to move it, move it." <laughs> yep. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and that song is uh, Madagascar. It's been a while since I watched Madagascar. I need to rewatch it sometime. Well, duh. We got a comment in the ch chat wall from Tori, and she says, w "What I think everyone know. Well, I think everyone knows my favorite. What my favorite color is? Can you guess what it is? Yeah. What is it? No. I can." I can tell from her profile pic, Tori's favorite color is yellow. Wow. Yep. Yellow yep. is a good color. Well, heck yeah. Hang on. Give me a moment here. Okay, there we go. And, uh, all right. He's actually saying, okay, so Rami says, remembering watching for SpongeBob SquarePants when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. And P Entertainment says, the best DreamWorks movie by far wow. is Shrek. Wow. It's Madagascar. I mean, Madagascar is really good, but wow, that's, that's tough to compare the two. Also, I can't see the chat wall anymore. Yeah, that's that's actually a pretty bold statement. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, MP Entertainment said. Uh, the wow, that's. Uh, that's bold. Okay. Or he says, it's yellow. You're right. I love yellow. All right. I mean, yeah. I mean don't get me wrong. I don't uh, I don't MPN, really like All Star uh, by Smash MPN, Mouth anymore. Yeah, says, but uh, I know I, that that song's just gotten on my nerves. 
honestly. Um, uh, Rami says thank you, Tori. I guess, but yeah, <laughs> we actually. But yeah, we, I actually really do love the Madagascar series, especially that of uh, the lemurs are in it. And um, and you know you can't, but you know, and you know our uh, King Julian himself is always very lovable, even with his ego. I like the moment, but the moment. Yes. But yeah, I um, I actually do think. Madagascar is one of DreamWorks' best and also funniest. I love it. Wow. Anyone? Well, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be on to the next Iron Banner match, which I don't know where it's going to take place. I don't know why it's not searching for Guardians at the moment. Nah. Uh, let's see here. Um, Give me a... Give me a moment here. I just got to check the time. Okay. Time is currently one twelve Eastern time. So it's 12, 12 Central. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tori says, um, Marty, why is your camera off? I must have missed something. I just, I, I'm just doing something real quick. I'll turn my camera back on momentarily. Okay. Okay. And plus, but, plus I, and plus, I can't see the chat long anymore either. It froze up on me. Great. <laughs> like, the, like, no, I'm serious. The last, the last comment I see was from Rari, uh, Rami, uh, who said, like Kenny. And then it, and then it just stops for me ever since. You're but, right, Tori. This is insta-glitch. No wonder we don't stream on this platform anymore. <laughs> although, although we might be doing, we might be doing some stuff. Like hangout stream soon. I think we're planning one tomorrow. I think just to kind of just kind of say, hey, we're still here. <laughs> yeah. NP Entertainment says, "Don't rush the orange boy." <laughs> no, no, no. She's she's not she's not rushing me. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. Whew. I um, but yeah, I gotta say, um, I was gonna say. Okay, um, it's definitely, it's, this live stream was, okay, now he's back. Now Marty's back. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was about to say, um, I was about to say, we, this live stream is definitely an interesting one, to say the least. Got to yeah, talk to I'd we, say. Yeah, we got to talk with Marty about what games are coming out, and, um, and of course, we got some really interesting comments in the chat wall, but um, but you know what? I think it's about I think it's about time that uh, we actually sign off. Sam, is it all right? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me here, Sam and Marty. I better get back to playing my game. Okay, right. Bye. Actually, bye. And uh, you know what, uh, Marty? Before we actually sign off, let's do a uh, screenshot like we usually do. Oh, so yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, just uh, give me a moment here. Right out of the shot, Jacob. I saw, I saw that head. <laughs> give me a moment here. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. All right. Here we go. And let's do a screenshot right here. Okay. <sighs> All right. There you go. At least I didn't have a cramp in my jaw this time. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Oh, okay. One more comment. He uh, NPR came saying, Sinclair in here now. What? Uh, yeah, oh, he's doing, he's doing a reference from Dinosaurs. Oh, okay. But anyway. Uh, I didn't remember, but I didn't know what the context was about all this. Okay. But anyway, um, Everybody who got to view this live stream, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah. And of course, thanks, yeah, thanks to you. thanks to uh, Marty Monster and this newcomer for coming out to the show. Man. And uh, hopefully, and uh, hopefully, we'll talk to you, Marty, another time. Yes. And, and of course, um, 
until next time, we'll see you all next Friday, folks. So. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.